thoughts on a shoulder holster? Now that I'm now that it's getting a little cooler, I was thinking about getting a shoulder holster. Fact. Ryan carried with a Galco Miami Classic leather sexy man holster for like three years. Three years, and I loved it because Miami Vice is a show, right? Yeah. I used to watch Miami Vice as a kid, and I was like, I am gonna drive a Lamborghini <laughs> with a freaking pink sport coat and my shoulder holster, and I'm gonna be a DEA agent. It's gonna be so cool. Joke time. Here's the thing. I'll tell you why, one, Ryan stopped carrying shoulder holster and hasn't carried it ever since the incident. And if you are gonna carry a shoulder holster, the way you worded it, you said it's getting a little cooler, and maybe I'm gonna switch to a shoulder holster, and maybe this isn't gonna be something that you do all the time. You gotta make sure that you're trained to carry from a shoulder holster, because now it's different. You're not drawing from the appendix or from four o'clock. It's a new neural pathway, which takes a lot of time to develop. So you've gotta figure it out. So that's number one. Number two, Ryan can tell you why he stopped carrying shoulder holster. You really haven't carried it since. What is it, in a bucket somewhere? Uh, It's somewhere, it's at the office, I think. So I carried in the shoulder holster, this 1911. Uh, yeah, I think it was Jackson, Jackson was like two or three months old. It was Very enough where he was baby. able to crawl. So he was just like laying on the, you know, the, the floor of the gun store. Yes, we are those people. So, yeah. you know, he had little blankets. He's just crawling yeah. around and stuff, right? So I was going from the back, like gunsmithing area to walk up to the front. And, and uh, he saw him and he I was saw like, Jax. I okay, bent over kitty. to like tickle him real quick. And my freaking holster broke. So the gun comes falling out of my holster because a leather strap, which never had an issue before this day, it wasn't broken, frailing, nothing was wrong with it. Again, this is a $200, $200, $250 holster. Freaking gun just falls out like this and it's falling like that, right? And I'm watching in slow motion as this 1911 is falling like this, pointed right at my son's head, okay? The gun goes and in my head, it's slow motion, right? I'm thinking to myself, I'm watching my son die right now. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe this is happening and there's nothing I can do about it. This is what's going on in my head. The gun goes, it hits the ground, falls over, and it did not discharge. And I thought to myself, I will never carry a single action only firearm again. Never in my life have I ever carried one again and I never will. Mm -hmm. And I will never use a shoulder, a leather, holster after that incident. So like a Kydex or something that it has retention maybe is different, but this for whatever reason. I need to know that if I fall on the ground or get flipped upside down in a car accident or whatever, my gun's not just gonna pop out and start bouncing around. Yeah. 